See the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Sea party, cha cha cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call. The food line. Okey. Yeah. Corky. Hello. Thompson. Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson. <laughs> Someone Captain Redwood calls your name Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got two good ones that both left and He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Right, 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 back is sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. Arr. Oh, that's gonna hurt. hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! Oh, but I've already got feathers. Oh, no. ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank, the plank, the plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick at woodpecker! <laughs> Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? Oh, I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, 
What's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we have a mutiny party? Why you? You'll pay for this! All right, swabbies! I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure! Oh boy, free grab, smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! And pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally. They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. No! Wait! Oh, no. Not again. Oh, boy. Business stinks. <sighs> Winnie Salon is killing my wig shop, Khan. I gotta get me some of her customers. Oh, a day of beauty. Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too? Ah! 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 
We have no experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. <laughs> what happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. Oh, the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait! I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit! Caught in the act! All this in the name of dirty wig money! <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it! Go on, pretty boy! Shut up! Great. Yeah, Peachy and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Mother Nature. Ah, uh, I'm not here. Oh, yes, you are. You can't fool Mother Nature. <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker. Do a good job as a pigeon and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you. Uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a uh, uh, constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! Hmm. 
Oh, I see. First day, and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers, or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues. I knew you were a sucker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't uh, how did you... Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. Uh, you're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! Th this was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. <laughs> it sure is heavy. <sighs> What took you so long, Mac? Beauty. You're up to something, woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Step right up, free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up, free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along, no shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature. Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second! Wait, wait, wait! Don't leave me like this! No! <laughs> Don't go away! I'll be back soon! 
up with another cartoon. <laughs> my neighbor, the Moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide and seek. Hello. Can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? Hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I've nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Lil Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami! But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. No, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with 
prison food. No! Anything but that. I confess, I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. That completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? But IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice. Playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of. Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course! 
My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl. Look. This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Uh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. Do you long for the good life? A treehouse on Easy Street. You need to learn how to make your species proud with the Phony Robin's personal triumph plan. You'll learn that self-esteem is all about appearances and communication. Mmm, this is perfect. perfect. You'll be able to see how I made an absolute fortune. Hold on one crumb picking minute there. Excuse me, you. Antenna head walking towards my kitchen. Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> The big idea is you're out of milk. Welcome to the documentary channel. At hey! 46 of the you can't just move into someone's place and freeload. Out! And stay out! <laughs> Newsflash! My house! My food! My chair! No! Please don't! I... 
I, I splatter easily. Get out! Oh, please. I got nowhere else to go. I can't make it in the outside world. You don't know what it's like being the runt of the family. <laughs> Everyone else succeeding, and you're failing. <laughs> Just give me a chance, will you? My whole life's been an uphill battle. <laughs> but you, look at you. You're living the life here. Well, I didn't always have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've got to hold up your end of the place. Got to come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you got to go out and make something of yourself. You've got to be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree! No more freeloading! Now get out there and make your subspecies proud. You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds at a grapefruit diet. Look out, world. This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya. <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <laughs> I did it! Chester the cockroach has got a job. I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well, then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody! I got a huge promotion! Everything you taught me is paying off! Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make... My subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? Hm. What's this world coming to? <laughs> what am I doing? If you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm gonna sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. 
I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is our friend. I get you now by Yemeni. You little cockroach. I get you out of my house. This is my place. What are you doing? Help! 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 Freezing all <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tea-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> <laughs> You betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me. Just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm gonna get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tees off. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. Trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyo. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. 
With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. Tis an English ball, and I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. <laughs> What do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck peckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy. Speak to me! Speak to your old dad! <laughs> I did this to him! I pushed him too hard! I don't deserve to wear this cow! I don't deserve this one as well, Cappy! Son, I only want you to know. Oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right! Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my Sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year! <laughs> Space Cadet not had to Space Cadet Splinter! Come in, Splinter! I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, Cadet Knothead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zack Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not going to go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please. Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts and Space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the yen. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. <sighs> Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko-Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? 
I went to uh, Camp Folsom. I mean Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <coughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bora! We came here to be space cadets! Uh oh, sure! In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, Gravity. Wait! What about seatbelts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good buzzard scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good buzzard scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We could cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a ten-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. They have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> What are you little buzzard scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides! Like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. T minus ten. Nine. Zero. That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation. <laughs> Take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. 45 bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? Yeah, yeah, go on, That ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Oh boy, on 
pet trees, and they're all for me. Woo! -hoo! Why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flattery will get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally, friends, neighbors, and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Greased pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> I win! Good game, old bean. You almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. They stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is... Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter. I am the Woody Woodpecker. No, no! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! Uh, hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that Woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I think I have a plan. Oh, Woody, they 
wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody, would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. <sighs> Something should never change. <laughs>